welcome to today's video. Today we're back with the science top 10 champions in the game. This one's a bit of a tricky one, I would say, from sort of five downwards. Um, a lot of good champs in this class, especially a seven star, probably one of the stronger seven star classes, given that you've got some of the top tier champions in the science class are already out as seven stars. Really, you're only missing sort of Scorpion and Human Torch of the the real hard hitters, I guess, Red, Gord, uh, Red Guardian as well. But I'm pretty sure um, we will see a Red Guardian, given that he was um, just buffed. I imagine that he will come out. So, pretty difficult list to make. As always with these videos, they are all um, my opinion. So, you know, no, happy to have some good discussions in the comments down below where you would rank people. We've had some um, good discussions on the skill class about um, Chilf being higher, about um, Mole Man potentially being a lot higher than he is, and Kingpin falling down. So, so you know, there's some great discussions to have uh, in the comments. Really enjoyed that. And, and, and having those discussions with you guys, it's good to have the, um, the input from you to then influence my um, my next top 10. So with the science class, as I said, tricky, but I feel like I'm in a relatively good spot with a few of the champions and um, talking of the first champion to come in isn't spot. So, you know, there we go. Thought I was going to give it away, but I didn't. It's actually going to be one previously mentioned just now and it will be Red Guardian. So I've gone with Red Guardian at 10 instead so what we'll do is we'll change this and we'll go 10 there we go so somebody didn't like the fact that uh, it was just commentary over the game which is fair enough so we're going to put some numbers on uh, not a very good number that let's get rid of it and try one more time still crap so we're just going to leave it as whatever happens this time so that is 10 10 comes in and it is red guardian so I feel like Red Guardian is lower than the rest of these champions, and the main reason for that is only two of the champions above him are six-star exclusive, like Red Guardian is. So I feel like the other champs being a seven-star, they have that potential. You know, you're more, you're happier to rank them up because you know that they won't be superseded by their sort of seven-star counterpart like Red Guardian may. Okay, their sigs are easier to get, uh, harder to get up, but now and you know, as the weeks go on in the game, we're seeing that seven-star. Signature stones are becoming sort of ever more prevalent. So again, that that isn't a massive, massive point for in Red Guardian's favour. What I will say is, is his um, buff is awesome. I think it's one of the best buffs that we've seen. Potentially not ever because you've got sort of Red Magneto back in the day, and we've seen some. Um, Mr. Sinister's buff, which is a very, very nice buff as well. But I will say that Red Guardian is one where they've taken a champion who who previously was ru like really rubbish. I personally only used him as healing for the slow. He never really hit me. His, his, um, I wouldn't bother fighting with him because, again, he, he didn't do the damage. Whereas now, if you get that trauma up and you throw that big SP1 in, or the SP2 after you've charged Red Guardian up just a little... You'll see some big yellow numbers, but also combined with that, because of the trauma, massive red, yellow, red numbers, which we are seeing more and more, especially in the science class. You have got Hulk with those big red numbers. You have got Quicksilver. Um, so there are a few champions in here who, who do have big red damage. But I will say that Red Guardian's buff, being as good as it is, um, does lead me to put him in at 10. Is he potentially... He's just over... You know, there are a few champs below him in, in the honourable mentions. We're looking at sort of Cassie Lang. She's only a six star. Uh, Overseer, a great champion, but is he better than Red Guardian? I'm, I'm not 100%. I do like him. I like him a lot. Uh, probably the best poison, sort of the uh, poison immune champion just because of the retaliation. But I do feel that Red Guardian is, is pretty safe in the 10 spot. So Red Guardian comes in at 10. Let's move across to our number nine. In at nine... His spot, you know, he's found his spot. Terrible, terrible puns. But, you know, you've got to enjoy it sometimes. Spot is a um, a really good champion. 
potentially could be higher up, definitely than the guy at number eight, if it wasn't for, for my personal bias. But I really like Spot. I do think he is probably one of the best um, one of the best science champions in the game. I mean, this is a top 10, so of course he does make it onto this list. I personally think that he does have a lot in his kit. He does offer you some big, big red damage. And this is potentially one I have got wrong. You know, the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm starting to think, oh, have I, have I potentially messed up? But stick with my guns. I do think that ease of play, you know, he's... He's not difficult to use, but he's not super simple like um, some of the champions lower down on this list are. He has a few immunities, but really not very many. You know, the buff immunity is there, but that's that's not really for him. So, he, you know, he's not immune to buffs. The untouchable is very nice. And... Um, the ruptures that that can put put on with portal blocking, he does take a while to get, like to get to know, and I do think that's potentially why he's a bit lower down on this list for me. I prefer champions who, you know, if I'm going to jump in and if I'm going to learn all of their, you know, how to play all of their skills like that, they've got to be big, big damage champions. And I think Spot can do big damage, but is his damage bigger than Silk? Is his damage bigger than Hulk? Is it bigger than Titania and Spider-Ham? Some may may think so, and some, you know, I may be wrong. But for me personally, the amount of time and effort that I'd put into, you know, watching other people's videos on him, getting to know him, I just feel like those other champs having it a bit easier does benefit the, the wider player base a bit more. So I think that Spot, you know, in your generic top 10, which this is, you know, it takes everything in, questing, battlegrounds everything i do think that spot is just yeah he's, he's just a little bit lower on the list i mean further away from one than some of those other champions who are a little bit easier to use so spot comes in at number nine however will some of that stuff i've said backfire for number eight we'll see so in at eight is quicksilver um quicksilver comes in at eight because i feel like He's a little bit underrated in the sense that the damage that he's putting on, um, especially in some of the questing nodes, can be unbelievable. He doesn't need his SIG ability, so that benefits him massively, especially being a 7-star. You don't have to pull him twice. I think as a 7-star, he is potentially harder to get because he's not in the base pool. He's not in the featured. You did have to get him in... I can't remember what it was. It, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Omega days, but it might have been. Um he had to get him in one of those events, and the people who didn't get him have missed out. But I've got a six star. I do use him still um, quite often. Very good slow counter and miss counter. I think if you even get two Furies on him, the sort of 30 Whiplash detonation with your SP2 can do, you know, you're looking at 200, 300k damage. Okay, it takes a little, a little while to to ramp him up but you know if you do a comparison video which we might do for quicksilver if i was to get him as a seven star um that makes the comparison video a bit better so fingers crossed but we'll see the timing it takes for quicksilver to get fully ramped up and do 300k damage compared to um say a hulk or silk someone you know someone like that i do think he's got a lot of use being the miss counter being the slow counter the wither is very, very strong. And that is really, personally, that is my main use for him. Is if they've got lots of power gains, uh, passive power gains especially. For me, I think that Quicksilver is potentially the easiest uh, sort of power control champion in the science class. You have got Spidey 2099. But if we're just talking power control... Um, on passive power gains or regular power gains, if you get four withers, you see that they even when you hit them, they don't gain any damage. And and for me, that is that is really big in this game, just because realistically, when you're fighting against the the AI and you're fighting against the computer, and in in a lot of the events, the only way that they'll do truly big damage to you is through special like SP threes. Uh, and potentially unblockable special attacks. So if you're preventing them from even having those, your chance of taking damage is lower, and therefore you use less items, which at the end of the day 
the game runs on items, doesn't it, really? So Quicksilver does come in at 8. Again, a little bit of bias, but, you know, it is my list. So he'll, um, he will come in at 8. Let's move on and see who we have at 7. Do you guys disagree with this one? Let me know. So in at 7, we've got Human Torch. So Human Torch... Um, Great champion, there's not really that much to say about him. Really good champion. For me, not, not the best science champion in the game, strictly because he's a seven, he's not a seven star. The damage he does with his pre-fight is obviously massive. I don't even have a six star, um, which is really annoying because I would have liked to have used him for Spring of Sorrow, but instead I had to go in with Spider-Ham and Captain America Infinity War, who, by the way, very good for the Iron Fist fight. Very, very good. But, yeah, Human Torch... Pre-fight, if you have it on, super strong, melts anyone, really good for Battlegrounds, which, you know, is still probably the biggest, uh, the biggest game mode in the game, so you have to take some weight to Battlegrounds, potentially leaving him higher. Um, the only issue is, for that reason, the Battlegrounds reason, is that the six downwards are very strong in Battlegrounds. So, you know, if he's only, if he's only six-star exclusive, it doesn't really matter. Um, to them because they're all seven stars so he, yeah he has fell in at seven i do think that um having an ability where or, or i should say damaging debuff where nobody is immune to it other than i'm pretty sure it's iceman makes him very very strong because you can use him at any point sort of like um champions who put ruptures on early on in the game so that is a massive benefit to him probably will we see him as a seven star it's tricky because I don't think, I think if we saw him as a seven star, the game wouldn't be broken in the sense that event quests and um, sort of the acts, the campaign, I don't think he's running through that wild like he like you would if you saw a Hercules seven star, you know, you, you couldn't bring him into every single fight and he'd be fine. He still does have a relatively low health compared to other champions. And, you know, without his pre-fight, it does take a little a, a little bit of um, work to get him ranked up. If they are incinerate immune, then, again, you have to just keep, you know, it's very hard to get your temperature up. But I do think it will be a very long time till we see him. Very similar to, say, a Kitty Pride or Scorpion. You know, two champions, very, very strong. Uh, like Hulkling, very strong. Potentially, if they come out as a seven-star now... Either people will spend loads of money, which is obviously what Caban wants, so, you know, you never say never, or it's, um, it'll, you know, it'll break the game. So, for a minute, I don't think he'll come, but soon enough in the future, I think he will. So, Human Torch comes in at seven, not much further to say. In at six is Silk. Silk comes in because mainly the Battlegrounds damage that she does, um, the damage on those when she ranked up the physical vulnerabilities and the sunder is is truly ridiculous. You're looking at red damage in the hundreds of in the hundreds of thousands. Very similar to say a quicksilver or spot, but far far quicker. I do think in other fights and as a defender, she potentially does struggle if you keep her to SP one. It, it's really not that too hard to fight her as long as you've got somebody who counters evade. And even that she does quite rarely. So um, I wouldn't say as a defender she's too strong. However, as an attacker, the damage that she do can do and, and the ability to get to it so fast is super strong. Uh, it does make her very, very good for Battlegrounds and those short short fights. However, when you take her into the longer fights, when you're taking her into... Uh, event, you know, maybe not event quest because that's relatively easy for everyone these days. But you know, Act Nine that will soon be coming. I think you will start to realise maybe she isn't. You know, she's not super good champ in medium to long fights. She's good. She's good in medium. Don't get me wrong. But is she taking over? You know, let's say a Hulk who's relatively easy to repeat his his damage and get it to get it to repeat itself spot uh quicksilver as we previously mentioned titania you know all those champions who who have accessible big damage in any sort of fight i think yes yeah, silk could be one of those champions she does come in at six so you know i'm not playing her down i do think that she is a great champ i just think we will see in those fights and um 
you know, might be wrong, might be wrong in Act, Act 9, might come out, there might be a node that fits her perfectly and everyone's just smashing the content with her. Very good champion. Don't get, like I said, don't get me wrong. Very good champion. Do think she's um, very interesting. V a lot of big chase champion when she first came out. Um, but we, we're sort of left to wait and see for the rest of, uh, for the long fights and the medium fights. So that is number six. Number five comes in and it is Hulk. Um, some people had it have him a little bit higher up. Some people have him a little bit lower down. I have him smack bang in the middle. I think four champions above him for different reasons are attempt, uh, potentially a little bit stronger. I think the five um, lower than him, as in six, seven, eight, nine, ten, don't have maybe the damage and the ease that he has. Very simple champion. First of all, he's the Hulk, so it's very fun that they buffed him and have now made it uh, much easier to to ramp up his damage. Big old damage. Get to the 15 Furies or get as close as you can. Throw your SP3. Physical vulnerabilities are huge. Build those up and then just keep spamming your SP2 with, a, um, with some traumas. And, you know, you're doing hundreds of thousands of pieces of damage. Basically, almost every hit. Very, very good champion. The Poison Immunity is very nice. Uh, something you, you sometimes forget about Hulk, even though... He's been in the game for so long. You know, when you compare him to those other champions, you sort of think, like, I, I remember thinking, Hulk's definitely poison immunity, isn't he, when I, I brought him into a, a fight the other day. But, yeah, great, great champ. Recently buffed. And not really too much to say about Hulk. I think it's a defender. Uh, he, he's not really difficult at all. But the damage that he does is more accessible. Is He is easier to use than a Silk, than a Quicksilver spot. Um, and because he's a seven star, he does fall above Human Torch. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to ranking mine up. Still need to get used to playing him at that little bit. You know, sometimes I'm throwing his heavies and that's messing up the Furies that I've got. But once I've got it nailed down, I'm sure that big, big damage will come. Um, and Hulk comes in at number five. In at four is Photon. Photon's in at four for, for uh, sort of two different reasons um, to Hulk. Good attacker, um, great miscounter, does, can do a lot of damage with the Sunder, the Overload, and when she's in pure light form, you know, the, the red, number, red numbers and the yellow numbers that you're seeing combined do a lot, a lot of damage. But I think mainly as a defender, she is still very, very strong. You don't bring in the right counter, she will melt you down in battlegrounds. Very difficult to fight against if you see her in event, um, sort of in questing. I think... Um, you know, her up with Bullseye and Serpent. Uh, a couple of those, you know, the older champions like Korg. You've got pretty solid defenders. In She's probably in the top five, so you see her a lot in war. Champion, you know, a lot, a lot of summoners are ranking her up to rank three just for defense on battlegrounds or defense on war. Very, very good champion. I actually haven't been able to use her too much, so I can't speak on sort of her rotation and things like that. That's something I'm not too clued up on. I do know that it isn't too complex, you know, compared to like a spot, even though, you know, as we mentioned, spot isn't that complex, but as the comparison, him and Quicksilver, it's not that difficult. The damage that she does is very big. I think four is a very fair uh, ranking for her because her defense like her on defense is very good. She's probably in the top five or, or definitely in the top 10, but maybe the top five of champions in the game when you stick them down as a defender. So I think it's relatively fair that she does come in um, at number four. Again, not too much to say about her. I think being the miscounter that she is on the, when she's in pure light form, that is very nice. The unblockable specials just mean that you take a lot of damage if you're attacking her, but if you're defending or if you're attacking with her, you're using her, then um, that makes it just that little bit easier to fight with her, to get those specials to connect, to make her loop that little bit easier. So yeah, Photon comes in at four. Let me know what you think about her and Hulk. Should they be switched? Are they perfectly fine where they are? Um, that can be discussed further in the comments, but let's jump into who our number three is. So we move across to our number three, which as you can see on screen is Scorpion. And he's sort of here because these lists are made of um, my opinion, but also who I see in the community, who people say, you know, who people are ranking in their top 10s, you know, people like Vega, Legacy when he does his, all those champions, you know, all the 
content creators who do top tens. We go across, we see what who they're using, and we see who just people talk about, you know, in live streams, you know, when they're discussing about who might not make seven star, who whom will. And Scorpion always comes up. And this is definitely a me issue. You know, I'm not saying he is uh, bad by any way, but every time I use him, I just can't seem to do the damage that the other people are are um, are doing with him. You know, I've watched the videos, I've learned how to play. I know you've just got to charge your heavy and then try and special in, like intercept with a special. And you know, I'm I'm doing that, and and then I'm watching them throw their special attacks back because obviously it's all sting debuffs and. You know, the damage I'm doing just isn't that big, especially compared to, say, the Spider-Ham. You know, Spider-Ham's power sting's far easier to get on. I don't have to intercept with him. I don't have to do any of that that business. A couple mediums, you know, you get three or four power stings, and they're doing big damage. So let me know in the comments down below, am I playing Scorpion wrong? Have I... Am I missing out on something? I've tried him with the Venom Synergy. Uh, obviously, with the Venom Synergy, different, you know, different level. However... How often am I, you know, in Battlegrounds, I don't have the Venom Synergy. So I'm not able to use him there. In questing, I'm going to bring in Hulk because he's my seven star. I'm going to bring in Spider-Ham because I've ranked three'd him. So Scorpion's a, yeah, Scorpion's a little bit strange for me. I understand he has an amazing kit, you know, um, healing himself off the Petrify from the regen. He takes off other champs, the Sting debuffs, the Evade, the Taunt to get them to throw it. Uh, the not to forget the sort of pre-fight choices where you can choose what he is immune to. That all that all that stuff makes him a very very good champion. But I just can't get with his play style. Like, I've got to be doing something wrong. So let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same or if you disagree. But I definitely think yeah I'm, I've got to be doing something wrong here. Otherwise you know I'm not getting that damage. Very similar to what I was mentioning in the um, skill video i'm not getting the i'm not getting that damage with um kingpin either so i think kingpin's a, a far lesser champion than scorpion of course but yeah what do i need to do to get this, the damage out of scorpion he does come in at three because of all those other things mentioned but is he, is this the sign of like sort of the sign of the times the six stars aren't doing the damage that the seven stars are doing uh, i'm not too sure let me know down below in the comments so in at two we have got spider ham <laughs> for just uh, a multitude of reasons, really. When I pulled him, I'd never used Spider Ham before. Uh, not as a six star, five star, four star. Never ever used him. Um, always fell into my sort of, I guess you could say, my deck or my account a lot later. So I'd already ranked up, say, a Quicksilver, or I'd already ranked up Human Torch, or whoever it may be. So I never really had chance to use Spider Ham. Uh, before I actually got him, he was seventh on this list, if you can believe that. So, um, because I just hadn't used him, I knew he was a great champion on defense. I knew he was very good, but yeah, just using using him more and more, I've sort of found how good he really is. You know, easy to put the porker poppers on him uh, on on the champion. A couple meet like I said medium, light medium, and you you've got two or maybe three on on the uh, on the opponent. Building up a spider nonsense isn't that hard. The evade seems to save you quite often. Um, the special one just pausing basically indefinitely. The porker poppers is, is very, very good. In short fights, really strong because the damage you're putting on from those porker poppers are massive. Um, medium fights, he works very well. And even in Spring of Sorrow, in the long fights there, you know, I was bringing him in for the sort of left side of Spring of Sorrow with... Vision, Iron Fist, and then for the for all of the fights in there, really, especially the um, Jessica Jones fight, he was just doing so much damage. You know, you one intercept and you're doing about 30, 40 percent of Jessica Jones's damage straight away with Spider Ham. So he's a very, very strong champion, um, massively underrated by me. And then as a defender, you just can't use your special attacks um, unless he hasn't evaded you yet, and. You know that takes a strong counter to 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 put an evade or to put a slow on before he before he evades you it can be tricky and I think um, that's why Spider Ham is very very strong very good champion immediately rank him up if you've got him as a seven star would highly highly recommend it um, and he comes in as the number two.
And finally, in at one, we've got Titania. I mean, a champion who's buff immune, uh, can go unstoppable, unblockable, and indestructible every sort of 15 to 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure it's 30 seconds to put staggers on, weaknesses, uh, suppression to just massively control the power on the opponent. And then, you know, you've got all of that. And then you've got the SP3, which puts on about a million debuffs um, to then really ramp up your damage. I think there's actually not too much to say about Titania. Why is she over the rest of the champions, you might be asking. And it's literally because of what I said. Uh, she goes on indestructible, unblockable and unstoppable against any champion because it, they are passive. If you're expecting an SP3 coming, just go in, you just go indestructible quickly and she won't, you know, uh, you save that up for an indestructible, that doesn't matter, you need an intercept to finish the fight, you go unblockable, I think those all coming on at once are amazing, massively strong, uh, it's very easy to use her in battlegrounds, she's super strong, in medium fights she's so good, because you can get to that SP3, and even in long fights, you know, with that uh, indestructible, a lot of the damage you may have been taking, she's just not, she's just not, yeah, I think, um, She's good for like the Icarus nodes because she's buff immune, so that's really nice when going through some of, some of the acts. What the only thing I will say is she's not immune to any damaging debuffs, so that can potentially play against her. But like I said, with the indestructible, the damage you're taking from those immediately, you know, you've, in battlegrounds, you're not really taking any of that damage because the fight is over before the indestructible even ends. You know, it might only be three, four, five seconds, but the damage you're doing in that time is absolutely massive. I think um, she's a very, very good champion. Rank her up, probably the best science champion in the game, potentially up there, maybe maybe in the top 10 champions in the entire game. Very strong. Really, really love her. Really wish I, I could get her just so I could start playing her a bit more. I remember when she first came out, I always thought, um, I, it might be one of my really old videos when she first came out with, with Iron Doom. But I always thought a champion with these abilities at being buff immune, no one sort of gave her the love because she was a six star and she was competing with Scorpion and she was competing with Human Torch. But now that she's a seven star and she'd come out early, everyone sort of sat down, used her, realised actually this champion is, is truly amazing. So Titania comes in at one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, this video. If you have, please leave a like subscribe and then comment down below if you disagree with the list again comment let me know uh, we'll have a little discussion down there we will be doing the mystic video next and then we'll be into the top 10 champions in in the game so that's a tricky list but you know I like to challenge myself so i'll be giving that a go what um do you like the numbers that's another question do you like the numbers in there if they look terrible just say i'll take them out next time not overly fussed by them if um, you can see, you know, I'm I'm able to, I've got a new phone now, so I'm able to pause between changing. So if you like that little, you know, where we just move on to the champions, let me know in the comments down below. And um, that will do it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.